why did I choose medicine? And I say this as a nod to career girls and the work that you're doing. Because when I was a young girl, there were certain things, certain professions that we, we had in our mind that we were capable of doing. You know, I, I came from the South and uh, I'll say a middle class um, aesthetic in the South. And so there was a doctor, lawyer, teacher, social worker, maybe librarian, you know. So these were the, t you know, this is it. And don't get me wrong, those are great, great professions. And you think about your skills, your aptitudes, the things that you like to do, and you look at those professions that you see in your community, the things that people are doing, and you say, okay, well, this, I'll, I'll do this, this makes sense. I like science, I like the way that things work in the world, I like people, so I'll be a doctor. And so that's how I moved into being a physician. And what I realized when I got into medical school was that I love, I love science. For me, science is another language for explaining the wonders of the world. You know, I look at the, the way the wind moves or I'm fascinated with the beating of our hearts or a baby being born. I mean, those types of things are awe-inspiring for me. And science is a language for explaining those things. And I appreciate science for that because it gives you a vocabulary for talking about these, these wonders of life. And what I realized when I got into medical school was that I loved science, but actually the hands-on day-to-day caring for people, which is another art of itself, that I didn't like that as much. And I didn't know that until I got into medical school. Literally being there with the patients every day, that wasn't my passion. Gratefully, uh, at, at Yale, they have a thesis requirement. And in the thesis requirement, I wound up writing a book. And it was, when you're preparing for medical school, so much of your life is you, you, you spend your summers preparing for medical school, you spend all of your time preparing for medical school. And so it had been, we had the, we had the thesis requirement and that thesis gave, you, gave me some time. It gave me about a year to really just think outside of the box and ask myself if I had time to do you know, anything, what would that be? And I heard a little voice that whispered, it said, write a book. And I was like, are you kidding me? And this is the, still the, the, the young girl that loved English, right? And I said, write a book. And I said, okay. And so I was able to use that time to engage with beautiful people who were healing uh, and sh they shared their stories about their experiences with healing so generously with me. And they transformed my life in that, in the process of hearing their stories and writing their stories and being able to create that book, I discovered my passion, which is writing. And so what do you do with that, right? You're in the middle of medical school. Everybody in the community is so happy. And I'm at Yale, okay, my goodness. So everybody, the church people, your family, everybody is just happy that you're there and they're expecting you to go and succeed and represent the community. And I come home and say, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna practice medicine. So they're like, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna write, everyone. And when I say, Everyone thought I had lost my mind. <laughs> I am not, I am not kidding here, everyone. And so um, gratefully, um, it goes to listening again to you and being willing to ask yourself those hard questions and listen to your voice and ask yourself what makes you your heart sing. And so I had a dean uh, there at, at Yale, who was a phenomenal person. And I was telling him this, I said, I'm here, you know, I think I've rediscovered another passion of mine. And he told me, he said, listen, he said, uh, I want you, you, you know, if you're gonna write for a living, that's fine. He said, but I want you to finish this degree. You started, I want you to finish. And it's because of his, 
his his suggestion, I guess. It wasn't a suggestion at all. It was a <laughs> it was a call, uh, and my my respect for him, um, and my commitment to all of the people that I represented that I was while I was there, that I did go back and I finished. And I'm so glad that I did. Uh, and after I finished medical school, I knew that I didn't want to practice medicine. I knew that I wanted to write for a living. And so I decided not to do the residency, the traditional residency in the hospital, but I did artist residency. So I went and I learned. I had wonderful um, experiences with writers across the country. I learned how to write. I learned how to craft a story. I um, taught writing. I, I, I worked with some amazing, amazing writers and met many, many friends along the way. And so did a lot of work in creative writing for, for years, um, but realized that I missed, I missed the science. You know, I, I kind of went into it because I, I loved it and I wanted to make an impact in people's lives, but the actual day-to-day -day, that wasn't my way. And so I found out about this field where I could blend my love for science, my um, desire to impact people's lives, and my love for writing in one space. And the rest was history. Uh, a, a, a gentleman, uh, offered me the opportunity to work in a medical communications firm that was over eight years ago, and he took a chance on me. And they, they threw me into the deep waters, and with the help of some colleagues and, and friends, uh, I, I learned how to swim, and we've been swimming ever since.